What's up everybody and welcome to another edition of the Lonnie Hunter Show and I'm telling you, today is going to be crazy. You've been meeting me here every Thursday at 7 p.m. and hopefully we have not been disappointing you. Today, listen, I got my brothers on the show and we're gonna do some stuff that uh, you may not have heard them do before. As a matter of fact, they might not even know they about to do. <laughs> James Mabel is on the show. What's up, James? Hey, man, I'm happy to be here. Thank you for thinking of me, man. How are you? Absolutely, absolutely. And then my friend and my brother from another mother, Samson Logan, is on the show. What's up, boy? Man, things are going well out here on the West Coast. So excited about being on the Lonnie Hunter Show. Listen, fellas, so much is going on with you all's career, and I'm glad we got you on the same show because there's a there's both worlds happening right here. Sam, you come from a world of, you know, all of the Tyler Perry plays and all of that kind of stuff. You do a lot of theater and you are always the cat that comes out and takes his shirt off. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, sir. Right. Yeah. Got me. yeah. I'm just yeah, going to go get immediate, right? Be doing right. all this. Be doing this right. all this. Right. <laughs> yes. It, it, yeah, they got me locked into that situation, but it pays the bills wonderfully. <laughs> and I'm telling you, man, if, when people see you in that role all the time and you come from a place where your dad is a pastor, you've been church all your life, and your music that you have out now is gospel music, uh, so your life kind of lines up to who you really are. Then on stage, you're really playing a character. And do you find people having difficulty separating the two? Absolutely, especially being a pastor kid. My, my dad had to do a lot of explaining. I told him to stop explaining because what I'm doing is ministry. We are painting pictures so people can see themselves on the stage. Yeah. See, they, yeah. if they could really see themselves, they, they wouldn't be talking so much. Because, you know, when you think about it, if I'm going to if I'm going to portray a situation and uh, the enemy or the devil or Satan is a part of that situation that I come out of. Somebody's got to play the devil. Absolutely. That, that doesn't mean when you come off the stage, you still Satan, right? <laughs> right. Exactly. They still see you at that. Camp. But you know, I find it is easier to play the bad roles than it is the good roles. Uh, really? It, it, yeah. That's as weird as a real situation because you go on stage, it's easier to come because you see it all the time. You've been taught about it, about the devil and all this. So when I get on stage, it's easier for me to play this this villain then played the, the nice guy and i am the Got nice it. guy so <laughs> it's almost hard oh, to says, say says you says, says you right right, <laughs> right, right, right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly but flip to the other side then we got james who has been church since the womb right <laughs> James was born, and when they slapped him, he said, huh, Shaba. <laughs> yes. James, Mabel, listen, man, uh, coming up in the church, are you ever or have you ever been in a, in a situation where you were able to be the other side or the secular side or be on the secular side and be effective on that side? What, what's that like for you? Um, you know, I tell people all the time, you know, when you're just gifted to do what you do, um, I don't think that the venue or the, the, the sector matters because your gift is going to shine through every time. And so I have had the opportunity to be on, you know, both sides. But, uh, of course, being, like you said, a gospel kid, a pastor's kid from the womb, um, it's definitely been an interesting journey. But uh, the music that, you know, that, that God's allowed me to release um, allows people to not only see the, the church side of James, but to see the inspirational side. Uh, the inspiration yeah. vibe and encouraging people because there's music uh, that I don't say Jesus or God, but the believer gets the undertone. And then those who may not ever step foot in the church, the music will connect, you know, so it's, it's been a blessing so far. And I got to tell you all, that's what I really like about the kingdom because the person who would run to Sam because of what they saw him do, and he would be able to connect with them on that level and steer them to the point to where I can be life changing for you may not be the same person who would run up to James because James is not in that arena and vice versa. But it's the way the kingdom works so that we're able to do everything we need to do to build the body of Christ, because you be in the ear and you be in the eye. You both have specific things that you are called to do. And I'm just really excited about the fact that you all are doing and working in your calling. 
Yeah, thank that's I appreciate that, man. That's what it's all about. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, being who you've been called to be, uh, and be comfortable with that. You know, be okay um that your voice has a set assigned population of people that when you part your lips, they experience God or they experience whatever you have to bring to the table. Yeah, yeah. So I want me all three of us have had conversations. Uh, outside of, you know, the stage realm. And both of you have had uh, struggles that you've had to uh, overcome, struggles that you've had to endure, uh, but you're still standing. Uh, Sam, what is it that you fall back on to keep you from not folding? Because there's a lot that has been thrown at you, Doc. Absolutely. We've been through a lot down through the years. But you know what's funny? When, when God got a call for you and God got, got a purpose for your life and you're, you have something inside greater see that's in you, that's in the world. It's like I get encouraged by encouraging people. I can be going through my lowest days. Somebody called me with an issue. I'm like, what is this about? I'm going through it. And when I get to yeah. telling them it ain't so bad and God's going to do this here and what you need to open them shades up and, and come out and begin to bless God for what you already have. It's always it's something better on the other side. I begin to feel better. And it's like I, I always like fall back on my faith because through my faith, I find my favor. And, and it, the Lord begins to take me through that thing without even, it's like David, I have to encourage myself a lot of times and it's really possible, but I encourage myself through encouraging others. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad you said that because when you have a brother in your life that you can pick up the phone and call, because when you said that, I saw James smile because <laughs> there are times when James would just call me in whenever and be like, look, you got to talk me out of this. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> talk right. me through this or something. Right, right. And it'd be people that's in the kingdom. I'd be, oh my goodness. This is <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right, right. So, right. So. so this being our holiday show, I was going to have you all sing your, your single. We're going to talk about your, your new music in the next segment. But this is the holiday show. I personally don't like Christmas music. I don't know who I just offended or who just turned me off, but I, I am not a fan of Christmas carols. I'd be like, oh Lord. Cause some of them don't make sense to me. So when you say um, chestnuts roasting on an open fire, I didn't grow up like that. First, if we have an open fire, it's in the garbage can. Second, I didn't know what a chestnut was. <laughs> So I couldn't relate. You understand what I'm saying? Right, right, right. <laughs> so I want to give you all an opportunity. James, what's your favorite? What's your favorite song? Your favorite Christmas song? Uh, I would say this Christmas. Donny Hathaway. Yeah. Hit it. Hang all the mistletoe. I'm gonna get to know you better. Clean. This Christmas, and as we trim the tree, how much fun is gonna be together? This Christmas, yeah. fireside is blazing bright. There. Caroling through the night, and this Christmas oh. will be. Shut up, Very special Christmas <laughs> for me. Da, 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 da. James Mabel! I ought to punch you dead yeah. in your nose. <laughs> that was yeah, good, you really, man. You, really you need to do a Christmas <laughs> CD. You need to do a Christmas CD, period. Ooh. People would eat that up. People would eat that up. <laughs> Sam, what's yours? Well, you know, I like the old churchy stuff. I, oh, come let us adore him. You know, Give me some of it. Oh, come let us adore him. Oh, come let us adore him. Oh, come let us adore him. Christ the, the Lord. Oh, 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 Christ the Lord. I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> yeah, just a little something, you know what I mean? Just... I promise you, if we were in this room together, we would sing a Christmas song, all three of us together. But since it's Zoom, we would come in a hot mess with this delay, so we're not going to even punish the people. <laughs> right. That is unbelievable. Right. 
All right, listen, I need you all to stay with me. We're gonna come right back and uh, I'm gonna take these, uh, these fellas through a whole nother set of stuff that they not expecting because I didn't tell them it was coming. So stay close. It is the Lonnie Hunter Variety Show on Rayma Television Network. Let's get it done. I wish I could, but I just don't know how. I don't have the time. I don't have enough technical knowledge to pull this off. I'm too young. No one will listen to me. So what's really holding you back? What if you could create the life you imagine no matter the circumstance or what others think? What if you could move the fear or use it? The choice is yours. Change your thinking, <laughs> you change your life. So if you're willing to take a risk on you to give up something so you can go up, follow me on social media with hundreds of like-minded people becoming the best that they can be. After all, we came to shape the future. Take care. To improve, to impact, to inspire. It's not what I do, but merely who I am, who I'm called to be. I am William A. Browning Sr., overseer founder of Emmanuel Christian Center of Philadelphia and Los Angeles, California. I'm also an author to the nations and one of my favorite quotes from my book, The Life Changers Quotes for Life is, leadership is not about control. It's about empowering others to take control of their choices. As overseer of Emmanuel Christian Center of Philadelphia and Los Angeles, I invite you to a place of love and no judgment, for we are the church. We are here to repair the breach, for we are the community who are assigned to build communities and become an impact in individual spiritual and natural lives. Visit us, www.EmmanuelChristianCenterInc.com and on Instagram at Emmanuel Christ Inc. I love you all to life and I'll see you soon. back ladies and gentlemen on the Lonnie Hunter Variety Show here on the Rayma Television Network. I got my boys in the studio for real. Well actually they're at home. I'm in the studio but we're making it happen. Yes sir. James Mabel and Samson Logan. What's up fellas? Absolutely. Yes, yes sir. sir. Let's talk about this new music though. So James, bruh, you got that new thing out called This Too Shall Pass and when I tell you you sent it to me and was like, let me get your uh, opinion on this. When I tell you before I gave you my opinion, I had already sent it to my musician saying, we're going to learn this next week's rehearsal. <laughs> I had already took your joint. It hadn't even come out yet. <laughs> well, thank you, man. Yes, sir. It is hot like that. Talk to me about it, man. Well, man, it shall pass. Um, it, it just came together. Uh, shout out to executive producer and songwriter uh, of that joint, man, Pastor Dow Jackson uh, here in Houston, uh, who penned that song. Um, such a timely song for right now and what we're going through. Uh, and a timeless song, because the truth of the matter is, in life, we're either going through something, coming out of something, or getting ready to go back into something. So we have to have the hope and the assurance uh, that sooner or later, uh, the situation is going to turn around. And it just kind of ties into... Uh, my hallmark scripture that I learned as a kid in vacation Bible school, yeah. Psalm 34 and 19, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord will yes. deliver you from them all. So uh, it's a great song and I, I call it a Baptist banger. It kind of shows my Texas country boy roots. Oh, right it's now. Baptist. <laughs> it's Baptist all day. <laughs> so, and it's available right now, right? Yes, it is available on all digital outlets uh, where you stream, uh, Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, Google Play, Amazon, you name it, Tidal, Deezer, all those digital outlets. And then for my deal. old school people out there who are watching, uh, I do have hard copies. You can go to my website, <laughs> www.jamesmablejr.com, and uh, we'll ship them to you because I understand everybody does not do technology, so we got to fit everybody's needs. You have to have a card that was made before the year 2011. <laughs> 
to know what a CD player is in your car. <laughs> right. Yeah. They yes. just got rid yes. of it. Yes. And Sam, your new joint, I saw the video of it. Um, as a matter of fact, let's let's play a little bit of it. Check this out. Protect my family. I'm so thankful, so thankful for favor. Yeah. I'm so grateful, so grateful for favor. Yeah. It takes one single visit from you and my life. snippet of the new joint called favor now y'all can tell that that sam got a little money because he didn't do his video over in the church pews <laughs> he all out in the desert and walking through the water and carrying on looking like jesus <laughs> talk to me about the new one man it's good yes, sir. for real yes sir Man, we're so excited about this song, man. You know, I had a, another song pinned to come out earlier this year, and when the pandemic went down, we had to switch up the whole thing because I thought the people needed to be inspired, people needed to be encouraged, uplifted. So uh, I got with this producer here named Enoch, a great young producer here, and we got in the studio, and I started talking about supernatural favor and favor, and I was talking to my dad about it. He just got delivered from a stroke, and, and they said he would walk, but now he's walking and driving. So I said, to God's favor, people need to know about this thing. So and, and you know, so we got I got the writing and the song came to being. And what's funny about it, I I, I always think like this. I want to preach, but favor is always tied to your function. And when you make up your mind, you're going to do what your purpose to do. God begins to open all kind of doors. Wow. When the doors open and you find out your function, the fight comes. So you have your favor tied to your function that always brings the fight. So the fight's going to come. But we just got to know that we're on the right track. And I just wanted to encourage people and let them know. And with the video, we just went out in nature. We went to Big Bear in California and, and we went to the desert and, and it was like 116 degrees out there while the fires was going on. And we just wanted to be in the elements and be close to God. And I, I always think that's God elements, the desert and the ocean, yeah, and the, yeah. the woods. And I thought we just wanted to do something different. It cost a little change, but you know, I think, <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> I think God is going to God's going to bring it back. God is going to make it happen. <laughs> I would tell you, you just said something, man, and I hope people caught it because it will definitely preach. I know the preacher in James just jumped up out of his seat when you said favor is tied to your function. Yes, sir. Bruh, yes, sir. if you could have seen James's face. I know. Come Sunday, that's going to be a full on service. <laughs> I'm about to move over here. I promise Absolutely. you, I am. All right now. It's the truth. It's the truth. So, listen, while we're talking about all of this stuff that you all are doing during this COVID, some of this takes a little bit of travel. It takes being around other people. It takes, you know, being around people who you are not necessarily quarantined with. So, there's a level of trust. There's a level of, 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 of responsibility that you have as an artist. Talk to me about how responsible do you feel when you are out around other people? What, what precautions do you take, Sam? Well, first of all, I, I, I definitely mask up because I want to not only protect myself and other people around me, I want to protect my family at home. Like I said, my father got pre-existing conditions and you want to take that stuff back home. So I trust God. I pray real good and, you know, I say, you know thank God, but I still want to use Holy Ghost in good sense. I want to put the mask on. I got my little sanitizer on my keychain and I'm sanitizing every time I'm around somebody like on the studio sets. I do my thing, but we, we're so far away wow. from each other. I, you've seen the video. I'm, I'm the only one in the video. It was supposed to be other people. But since the quarantine, I decided I was going to do it myself. And, um, and, you know, with the elements of God. So just me and God, pretty much. And, and you know, that, that, that's interesting that you were able to do that. Because when you flip over to James uh, with the way he has to um, kind of put the single out there, there are a lot of live events where you're on stage. Uh, how do you deal with people coming up saying, can I take a picture with you? 
Wow. Um, yeah, it has definitely been a challenge. And I must let all the viewers know that Lonnie Hunter is such a big brother who holds you accountable in so many facts. I didn't mean for you to tell that. <laughs> he, he has picked up the phone uh, several times and said, James Mabel Jr., I'm going to need you to put that mask on. <laughs> right, 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 you know, right. Listen, right. so he is, the fact that, he, you know, he brought this topic up, I just feel so convicted to share with the world. Uh, but no, man, so it has um, been definitely an adjustment. Um, you know, you, 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 you want to be respectful because, again, yeah. fans appreciate Absolutely. Um, the moment when you're in their space. And so I've had several events in the past. Um, but just like uh, Sam said, you know, just being careful. Uh, and I think people have the understanding of, of the time that we're in right now. Yeah. Uh, and so they I'm don't take person. it as personally. Yeah, I'm I'm a I'm a bubbly guy. I'm very personal, bro. You know, I love people like that. Uh, you know, huge heart just for ministry. And so, but people understand what's going on. And so it's like, hey, I appreciate you. You know, keep following me on social media. Yeah. Um, you know, and and that kind of thing because it's just a crazy time. Uh, and just wanting to be as, as careful as possible. So. Definitely adjustment. Then, of course, with the flying and things like that, you just you just don't know. Uh, but it's like a lot. Said, yet again, yeah. you just pray and say, God, you know, uh, the strategic thing. And I'm not preaching. I promise you I'm not preaching because we got these preachers <laughs> kids on this line. Right, um, right, right. But when God knew that Sam and I were going to release a project or move about in this season called Pandemic, yes. I, had, I, I had, you know, I was so discouraged at the beginning. Um, at the, yep. at the, of the pandemic because it's like in the in the industry you gotta work and shout out to my right. manager Greg Lyons executive co-executive producer of the show you know you you have to market yourself it's it, you still gotta work yeah and so at the beginning I was like God you know I feel like my my, my, my momentum has uh, slowed down you know and and but God reminded me no it's strategic I knew before you even born that 2020 you are gonna drop a whole Absolutely. project in a pandemic. Absolutely. Sam's gonna drop a whole video, right. another song in this time. And so right. trusting the sovereignty of God has been the biggest thing. Absolutely. Moving forward. Absolutely. You just spoke a word into a whole lot of people's lives that um, yeah. are looking at this pandemic and thinking that it stops people from doing things. It opens up a lot of doors. It makes you have to zero in on some things that you were too busy to zero in on before. A lot of people are going to come out of this better than the way they went in because they have time to hone those skills. Uh, but what you just said that God already knew that this pandemic was coming. He knew what he had planned for you to be doing in it. And uh, it still is going to pass. And you're going to win in all of this because you got favor. Y'all don't see y'all didn't see how I put both of y'all songs in that same sentence, did you? You missed that. You missed that. You missed it. You missed it. Look at Sam. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. So I want to have a little fun, fellas. There is a there is a tournament going on. So far, one of the winners is Ricky Dillard. Another winner was uh, Todd Delaney. We're going to see who is the winner in this show. Every winner is going to come back at the end of the season and we're going to do a tournament of winners and it's called clues and categories. I'm going to ask you a question. If you know the answer, the first one to shout it out wins that question. The one that does the best in four questions, best out of four, will win. Are you ready? Ready, yes, sir. Name one of Barack Obama's daughters. Aliyah. No. Close. Silence. <laughs> Man. We got crickets. That's crazy. All Aaliyah, right. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, next one. Oh. You next got one. It? Give me a. <laughs> next one. Who is the Supreme Court judge that just passed? Ruth. Get a bird. <laughs> I will give you really? that. It's close enough. It's close <laughs> enough, but her last name is not Gitterberg. <laughs> right, Gitterberg. Wait a minute, pray, Gitterberg. Now pray for me, please. Right. Ruth, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Right. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll give you that. All right. Um, what is the son's name on Sanford and Son? Lamont. 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 James Beach. I got it first. Yeah. No. <laughs> 
All right, last minute. question. I'm a seven. It might be your it might be your uh your connection, Sam. You know, when you live oh, all the way man. up west and high up in the mountains, oh, you, sometimes your stuff comes late. That's terrible. <laughs> all right, last last question. What is the last book of the Bible? Revelation. Revelations. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna have to be honest. It's not like, Sam, it's not like you're wrong. It's just that you're coming in after him, probably because of your connection. This ball! Right. This ball! <laughs> right, right. So this is what I'm going to do. Since the ones you did say, Sam, were right, I'm going to make it a draw, and right. both of y'all going to come back at the end of the season and see what we can do. There you go. But let me tell you this. Barack Obama's kids are named Sasha and Malia. I knew it was something like that. Yeah. You put them together and called them Aaliyah. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Right. So, yeah, we're not going to give you that at all. And, right, um, right. What's the judge's name? James Mabel Jr. What is the judge's <laughs> name that just passed away? Ruth. Ruth what? <laughs> <laughs> Repeat after me, James. RBG. RBG. That's that all you got to say from now on. That's all you got to know. That's hilarious. <laughs> this has been too much fun. So listen, I want you all to follow these brothers on Instagram and Facebook and all of that kind of stuff. I know you see it across the bottom of the screen, but James, talk to me. Which social media outlet do you spend the most time on? Ah, oh, good, good question. Honestly, Facebook just a little bit more than Instagram, but okay. it's a balance between the two. Yeah, either one, but yeah. Most and is your Facebook, Facebook and Instagram, Instagram the same thing? Uh, yes, uh, Instagram, J. Mabel Jr., and then Facebook, James Mabel Jr. Okay, and which one are you on more, Sam? Actually, uh, Instagram more so now than uh, Facebook. Facebook is real churchy now. You know, even got real churchy, so I'm still trying to cross over a little bit. So Instagram. <laughs> so yeah, we go to, we go to Instagram a little bit more. What kind of response? <laughs> you know it is. Because my Instagram, mom, I'm like, I'm on my Facebook page. I'll be like, okay, mom, that's all right. Right, okay, mom, all right, <laughs> right. All right, Sam, what's your Instagram? <laughs> It's at Samson Logan, S A M S O N Logan, L O G A N. That's on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, everything. Good stuff. And I can attest, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that they do read them. They do respond back to you. There's, this is not a team of people that's running their social media. If you hit them up, they will definitely show you love. All right. Listen, fellas, thank you all for coming in here and hanging out with me for this holiday edition. Man, loved it. You. Loved it. Thank you, man. Amen. Appreciate both of y'all. It is the Lonnie Hunter Show right here on the Raymond Television Network. Every Thursday, you know where to be, right? Right here at 7 p.m. I got you for real. Season two is off the chain already. So stay close for more. Love you for real. Gotta go.